Welcome to Global City Guide. Let's explore Canada. In the last two parts of the video, we explained Canada and its art, culture, and history. Also, we explained the eight provinces of Canada. These eight provinces are Alberta, British Columbia, Manitoba, New Brunswick, Newfoundland and Labrador, Northwest Territories, Nova Scotia and Nunavut. In this video, we are explaining another five provinces of Canada. Today we are explaining the last five provinces named Ontario, Prince Edward Island, Quebec, Saskatchewan, Yukon. Also we are briefly describing how Canada originate and how it is different from other countries. How Canada is best place to live in. Canada is considered one of the best places to live in the world. In this response, we will discuss why Canada is considered the best place to live in and how it is different from other countries. Canada has been consistently ranked among the top countries in various quality of life indices such as the Human Development Index, the Social Progress Index, and the World Happiness Report. Here are some reasons why. 1. High quality of life. Canada offers a high standard of living with excellent healthcare, education, and social services. Canada has a publicly funded healthcare system, providing universal access to healthcare services, regardless of an individual's ability to pay. The education system is also publicly funded, providing access to quality education from kindergarten to higher education. The country also offers a range of social services such as unemployment insurance, pensions, and social assistance for those in need. 2. Diversity and Inclusion Canada is a diverse country with a population of over 38 million people, and it welcomes immigrants from all over the world. The country is known for its inclusive society, where people of different ethnicities, religions, and sexual orientations are welcomed and valued. The Canadian government has established policies and programs to promote diversity and inclusion, such as the Multiculturalism Act, which aims to preserve and enhance Canada's multicultural heritage. 3. Strong Economy Canada has a robust and stable economy with a high standard of living. The country is a member of the G7, which is an international organization that promotes economic stability and growth. Canada's economy is diversified and includes industries such as technology, healthcare, and finance. The country also has an abundance of natural resources, such as oil, gas, and minerals, which contribute to its economic strength. 4. Beautiful Natural Environment Canada is known for its breathtaking natural beauty, from the Rocky Mountains in the west to the rugged coastline of the east. The country is home to a variety of wildlife and natural landscapes, including lakes, rivers, forests, and mountains. The natural environment provides ample opportunities for outdoor recreation, such as hiking, camping, skiing, and snowboarding. 5. Social Programs and Services Canada has an extensive social safety net, including a range of social programs and services to support those in need. These include employment insurance, disability benefits, and old age security. The country also has a range of programs to support families, such as parental leave and childcare subsidies. Compared to other countries, Canada has a unique combination of factors that contribute to its attractiveness as a place to live. For example, 1. Compared to the United States, Canada has a more inclusive society, with a greater emphasis on social welfare programs and public health care. The country also has lower levels of income inequality, and a more diverse and multicultural population. 2. Compared to European countries, Canada has a lower cost of living and a more relaxed pace of life. The country also has a unique natural environment that is different from that found in Europe. 3. Compared to Asian countries, Canada has a more liberal and open society, with a greater emphasis on personal freedom and individual rights. The country also has a unique natural environment and a more temperate climate. In conclusion, Canada is considered one of the best places to live in the world due to its high quality of life, diversity and inclusion, strong economy, beautiful natural environment, and social programs and services. Its unique combination of factors makes it an attractive place to live compared to other countries around the world. Canadian Origin and How Canada Was Built Canada is a country located in North America, known for its diverse culture, high standard of living, and natural beauty. Canada has a rich history that spans over 10,000 years, and its origin can be traced back to the indigenous people who inhabited the land. In this response, we will explore the Canadian origin and how Canada was built. Canadian origin The origin of Canada can be traced back to the indigenous peoples who lived on the land for thousands of years. 
the indigenous peoples have a unique and rich culture that is characterized by their spirituality, languages, and traditions. They developed complex societies, with diverse economies that ranged from hunting and gathering to agriculture and fishing. The indigenous peoples of Canada were the first to establish trade networks and establish relations with other indigenous peoples throughout North America. In the 16th century, the arrival of European explorers and settlers marked the beginning of a new era in Canadian history. The French were the first to establish a permanent settlement in Canada, and they named it New France. They established a trading post in Quebec City in 1608, which became the capital of New France. The French also established trading posts throughout the Great Lakes region and along the St. Lawrence River. The British arrived in Canada in the 17th century and established colonies along the eastern seaboard of North America. In 1759, the British defeated the French in the Battle of the Plains of Abraham, which marked the end of French rule in Canada. The British then established a new colony, known as the Province of Quebec. Canada remained under British rule until 1867, when the British North America Act created the Dominion of Canada. The Dominion of Canada was established as a federation of four provinces, Ontario, Quebec, Nova Scotia, and New Brunswick. Over the years, Canada grew as more provinces and territories joined the federation, including Manitoba, Saskatchewan, Alberta, British Columbia, and the Northwest Territories. How Canada was built Canada was built through the contributions of many people, including indigenous peoples, explorers, settlers, and immigrants. Here are some key events that shaped the history of Canada, fur trade, the fur trade was a significant economic activity in Canada during the 17th and 18th centuries. It was an important source of income for the French and the British, and it helped to establish trade relations with the indigenous peoples. Confederation The Confederation of Canada in 1867 was a significant event in Canadian history. It established the federal system of government and created a framework for the expansion of the country. Immigration Immigration played a significant role in the development of Canada. Over the years, millions of people from all over the world have come to Canada to start a new life. They have contributed to the growth of the economy and the diversity of the country. Industrialization The late 19th and early 20th century saw the rise of industrialization in Canada. The growth of industry such as mining, forestry, and manufacturing helped to fuel the economy and create jobs. World Wars The First and Second World Wars had a significant impact on Canada. They led to the expansion of the military and the growth of the Canadian economy. The wars also helped to establish Canada as an independent nation on the world stage. Nation building, Canada has continued to evolve and develop as a nation over the years. The country has established itself as a leader in areas such as healthcare, education, and social services. The country has also continued to expand and develop its economy, with industries such as technology, finance, and natural resources. In conclusion, Canada's origin can be traced back to the indigenous peoples who inhabited the land for thousands of years. Over the years, Canada was built through the contributions of many people, including indigenous peoples, explorers, settlers, and immigrants. The country's development was shaped by significant events such as the fur trade, confederation, immigration, industrialization, the world wars, and nation-building efforts. Canada's unique character is defined by its multiculturalism, natural beauty, strong economy, and progressive values. One of the most significant events in Canadian history was the fur trade, which was a vital economic activity during the 17th and 18th centuries. The fur trade brought together indigenous peoples and European traders and led to the development of trade networks across North America. The trade of fur was the backbone of the economy of the country at that time, and it allowed the development of new markets for goods from Europe and Asia. The Confederation of Canada in 1867 was another significant event that shaped the country's history. It established the federal system of government and created a framework for the expansion of the country. The establishment of the Dominion of Canada was the result of the vision of the Fathers of Confederation, who worked together to create a strong and united country. Immigration has played a significant role in the development of Canada. The country has welcomed millions of people from all over the world who have contributed to its growth and diversity. Canada has one of the most liberal immigration policies in the world, and this has helped to create a country that is rich in cultural diversity. The late 19th and early 20th centuries saw the rise of industrialization in Canada. The growth of industry such as mining, forestry, and manufacturing helped to fuel the economy and create jobs. The country's natural resources played a significant role in this development. Canada is rich in natural resources such as oil, gas, minerals, 
and timber, and these resources continue to play an essential role in the country's economy. The First and Second World Wars had a significant impact on Canada. The wars led to the expansion of the military and the growth of the Canadian economy. The country's contributions to the war efforts helped to establish Canada as an independent nation on the world stage. Canada has continued to evolve and develop as a nation over the years. The country has established itself as a leader in areas such as healthcare, education, and social services. The country has also continued to expand and develop its economy, with industries such as technology, finance, and natural resources. Canada's unique character is defined by its multiculturalism, natural beauty, strong economy, and progressive values. The country's multiculturalism has led to the creation of a society that is rich in diversity, with people from different backgrounds living together in harmony. The country's natural beauty is breathtaking, with stunning landscapes that attract millions of visitors each year. The country's economy is strong and stable, with low unemployment rates and a high standard of living. Finally, the country's progressive values are reflected in its commitment to human rights, social justice, and environmental protection. In conclusion, Canada's origin can be traced back to the indigenous peoples who inhabited the land for thousands of years. Over the years, Canada was built through the contributions of many people, including indigenous peoples, explorers, settlers, and immigrants. The country's development was shaped by significant events such as the fur trade, confederation, immigration, industrialization, the world wars, and nation-building efforts. Canada's unique character is defined by its multiculturalism, natural beauty, strong economy, and progressive values. Ontario Ontario is the most populous province in Canada, with over 14 million residents. The capital city is Toronto, which is also the largest city in Canada. Ontario is known for its diverse population, natural beauty, and thriving economy. Population, Ontario is home to a diverse population, including indigenous peoples and many different cultural and ethnic groups. The population is concentrated in urban centers, such as Toronto, Ottawa, and Hamilton. Popular places, there are many popular places to visit in Ontario, including Niagara Falls, the CN Tower in Toronto, Algonquin Provincial Park, Thousand Islands, and the Bruce Peninsula. Culture, Ontario is known for its vibrant arts and culture scene, with many festivals, museums, and galleries throughout the province. The province has a strong music industry and is home to many famous musicians, such as Drake and The Weeknd. History, Ontario has a rich history, with indigenous peoples living in the region for thousands of years before European colonization. Ontario was originally settled by French fur traders, and later became a British colony. Ontario has played a major role in Canadian history, including its role in the War of 1812 and its position as a major industrial hub during the 20th century. Art, Ontario has a thriving art scene, with many museums, galleries, and theatres throughout the province. The Art Gallery of Ontario in Toronto is one of the largest art museums in North America and is home to an extensive collection of Canadian and international art. Living, Ontario is a great place to live, with a high standard of living, excellent health care, and a strong economy. The cost of living in Ontario can be higher than other parts of Canada, particularly in urban areas such as Toronto. Climate, Ontario has a varied climate, with cold winters and warm summers. The northern part of the province has a subarctic climate, while the southern part of the province has a humid continental climate. Government, Ontario has a parliamentary government, with a premier and a legislature. The government is responsible for the province's health care, education, and infrastructure, among other things. Best time to visit The best time to visit Ontario depends on the individual's interests. Summer is a popular time to visit, as the weather is warm and many outdoor activities are available. Fall is a great time to visit for the changing colors of the leaves and harvest festivals. Winter offers opportunities for skiing, snowboarding, and other winter sports. Spring is a great time to visit for the blooming of flowers and trees. Pros of living in Ontario. High standard of living. Excellent healthcare. Strong economy. Diverse population. Vibrant arts and culture scene. Access to natural beauty and outdoor activities. Cons of living in Ontario. High cost of living in urban areas. Traffic and congestion in urban areas. Harsh winters in some parts of the province. Limited job opportunities in certain industries outside of urban centers. In conclusion, Ontario is a diverse and vibrant province with many opportunities for living, working, and exploring. Its thriving economy, excellent healthcare, and strong arts and culture scene make it an attractive place to call home. 
While there are some challenges to living in Ontario, such as high costs of living and harsh winters in some parts of the province, the benefits outweigh the drawbacks for many people. 1. Niagara Falls Located on the border of Ontario and New York, Niagara Falls is one of the world's most famous natural wonders. The falls themselves are comprised of three separate waterfalls, Horseshoe Falls, American Falls, and Bridal Veil Falls. Visitors can take a boat tour on the Maid of the Mist, go behind the falls on the journey behind the falls, or enjoy the view from the Skylon Tower. 2. CN Tower, Toronto's most recognizable landmark, the CN Tower is an engineering marvel that stands 553.3 meters tall. Visitors can take a high-speed elevator to the top and enjoy panoramic views of the city and Lake Ontario. The Edgewalk is a thrilling experience that allows visitors to walk around the outside of the tower's main pod while harnessed to a safety rail. 3. Parliament Hill Located in Canada's capital city of Ottawa, Parliament Hill is the seat of Canada's federal government. The Gothic-style buildings were constructed between 1859 and 1927 and include the Peace Tower, the Library of Parliament, and the Centre Block. Visitors can take a guided tour of the buildings and watch the changing of the guard ceremony. 4. Algonquin Provincial Park Covering over 7,600 square kilometers, Algonquin Provincial Park is Ontario's oldest provincial park and is known for its stunning lakes and forests visitors can enjoy hiking, camping, canoeing, fishing, and wildlife viewing in the park. The park is particularly popular during the fall when the leaves change color. 5. Royal Ontario Museum Toronto's Royal Ontario Museum is Canada's largest museum and features exhibits on natural history, art, and culture from around the world. The museum's collections include fossils, minerals, and meteorites, as well as exhibits on ancient Egypt and Canada's indigenous peoples. 6. Canada's Wonderland Located in Vaughan, just north of Toronto, Canada's Wonderland is Canada's largest amusement park. The park features over 200 attractions, including roller coasters, water rides, and live shows. It is also home to the Leviathan, one of the tallest and fastest roller coasters in the world. 7. St. Lawrence Market Located in downtown Toronto, St. Lawrence Market is a historic public market that has been in operation since 1803. The market features over 120 vendors selling fresh produce, meats, cheeses, and baked goods. Visitors can also enjoy prepared food from a variety of international vendors. 8. Canadian War Museum Located in Ottawa, the Canadian War Museum is Canada's National Museum of Military History. The museum's collections include uniforms, weapons, and vehicles from Canada's military history, as well as exhibits on Canada's involvement in various wars. 9. Ripley's Aquarium of Canada Located in downtown Toronto, Ripley's Aquarium of Canada is a popular attraction that features over 20,000 aquatic animals from around the world. The aquarium's exhibits include a dangerous lagoon, a rainbow reef, and a discovery center where visitors can touch and interact with marine life. 10. Thousand Islands Located on the St. Lawrence River between Ontario and New York, the Thousand Islands are a group of over 1,800 islands that offer beautiful scenery and recreational opportunities. Visitors can take a boat tour of the islands, go kayaking or canoeing, or visit Bold Castle on Hart Island. 11. Stratford Festival The Stratford Festival is an annual theatre festival held in Stratford, Ontario that features productions of Shakespearean plays, musicals, and contemporary works. The festival attracts over 500,000 visitors each year and is considered one of North America's premier theatre events. Prince Edward Island Prince Edward Island, also known as PEI, is a small province in eastern Canada. It is the smallest province in Canada both in terms of land area and population. The island has a population of around 158,000 people, with Charlottetown being the largest city and capital of the province. PEI is famous for its beautiful beaches, picturesque fishing villages, and rich agricultural land. It is often referred to as the Garden of the Gulf due to its fertile farmland and abundant seafood. The island is also known for its friendly people, vibrant art scene, and deep cultural history. The climate of PEI is relatively mild, with warm summers and cold winters. The island experiences more than 1,800 hours of sunshine per year, making it a popular destination for outdoor activities like golfing, cycling, and beachcombing. The best time to visit PEI is during the summer months when temperatures are warm and the island is bustling with tourists and festivals. PEI has a rich history dating back thousands of years, with evidence of indigenous settlements on the island as early as 9,000 years ago. 
The island was later settled by the French in the 1700s and then later by the British, who made it a colony in 1769. The island joined the Canadian Confederation in 1873 as the seventh province. The government of Prince Edward Island is a parliamentary democracy with a constitutional monarchy. The provincial government is led by a premier and a legislative assembly made up of 27 members. The province is also represented in the federal government by four members of parliament. To live in Prince Edward Island, one must be prepared for a slower-paced, rural lifestyle. The island has a strong sense of community and a friendly, welcoming atmosphere. The cost of living on the island is relatively affordable, with lower housing prices compared to other Canadian provinces. The province offers excellent health care, education, and social services. PEI is known for its vibrant arts scene, with a strong tradition of music, theatre, and visual arts. The island is home to many talented artists and performers, and there are numerous cultural festivals and events throughout the year. The province also has a rich culinary scene, with an emphasis on local ingredients and seafood. Prince Edward Island, PEI, is a small Canadian province situated on the eastern coast of Canada. The province is known for its stunning landscapes, rich history, and vibrant culture. PEI is the smallest province in Canada, but it is home to many attractions that draw visitors from around the world. Here are some of the top attractions in Prince Edward Island. 1. Green Gables Heritage Place. This is the famous setting of the classic novel, and of Green Gables, written by Lucy Maud Montgomery. The site includes the original farmhouse, walking trails, and a museum. 2. Cavendish Beach. This beautiful beach is located in Prince Edward Island National Park and features white sand and stunning views of the Gulf of St. Lawrence. 3. Confederation Trail. This 435 km trail is perfect for hiking and biking, and stretches across the entire length of PEI. 4. Victoria Row. This charming street in the heart of Charlottetown is lined with colorful buildings, unique shops, and restaurants. 5. Province House National Historic Site. This site is home to the Charlottetown Conference of 1864, which led to the formation of Canada as a country. 6. St. Dunstan's Basilica. This stunning cathedral is a national historic site of Canada and features beautiful stained glass windows and intricate architecture. 7. North Cape Coastal Drive. This scenic drive takes visitors along the coast of PEI, offering stunning views of the ocean, cliffs, and beaches. 8. Basin Head Provincial Park. This park is home to the Singing Sands, a unique phenomenon where the sand makes a whistling sound as you walk on it. 9. And of Green Gables Musical. This beloved musical is based on the classic novel and has been performed on PEI for over 50 years. 10. The Bottle Houses. These unique houses are made entirely out of recycled glass bottles and are a popular attraction in the town of Cap Egmont. 11. Avonlea Village. This recreation of a 19th-century village is inspired by the setting of, and of Green Gables, and includes shops, restaurants, and historic buildings. 12. The Charlottetown Festival. This annual festival celebrates the performing arts and includes theater productions, concerts, and other performances. 13. Confederation Center of the Arts. This cultural center is home to a theater, art gallery, and museum, and is dedicated to showcasing the arts and culture of Canada. 14. Victoria Playhouse. This theater in the charming town of Victoria by the Sea features live performances of theater, music, and comedy. 15. Red Shores Racetrack and Casino. This casino and horse racing track is a popular destination for those who enjoy gambling and live entertainment. 16. Orwell Corner Historic Village. This living history museum showcases life in a 19th century farming community and includes historic buildings, gardens, and demonstrations. 17. Cavendish Figurines. This unique shop in Cavendish offers handmade figurines of popular characters from, and of Green Gables, and other classic novels. 18. Confederation Bridge. This 13 km bridge connects PEI to the mainland and offers stunning views of the ocean and the surrounding landscape. 19. East Point Lighthouse. This historic lighthouse offers visitors a chance to learn about the history of lighthouses in PEI and offers stunning views of the coast. 20. The Potato Museum. This museum in the town of O'Leary is dedicated to the history of the potato and its importance to the island's economy. These are just a few of the many attractions that Prince Edward Island has to offer. Visitors to the island can enjoy its natural beauty, rich history, and vibrant culture, making it a must-see. Quebec. Quebec is a province located in eastern Canada, bordered by Ontario to the west, Newfoundland and Labrador to the east, and the United States to the south. 
with a population of over 8 million people, Quebec is the second most populous province in Canada, after Ontario. The majority of the population speaks French, and the province has a rich history and culture, with a mix of indigenous, French, and British influences. Popular Places Quebec City, the capital of Quebec, Quebec City is known for its charming old town, which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The city is also home to the iconic Chateau Frontenac Hotel, the Plains of Abraham Battlefield, and the Saint Anne de Beaupre Shrine. Montreal, the largest city in Quebec, Montreal is a vibrant and multicultural city known for its food, festivals, and nightlife. Popular attractions include the Notre Dame Basilica, Mount Royal Park, and the Montreal Botanical Garden. Montremblant, a popular ski resort town located in the Laurentian Mountains, Montremblant offers skiing and snowboarding in the winter and hiking and mountain biking in the summer. Charlevoix, a scenic region located east of Quebec City, Charlevoix is known for its stunning landscapes, including the Charlevoix meteorite crater and the Saguenay Fjord. Gaspé Peninsula, located on the eastern tip of Quebec, the Gaspé Peninsula offers beautiful coastal scenery, including the Purse Rock and Forillon National Park. Culture, Quebec has a rich and distinct culture, with a strong focus on French language and heritage. The province is known for its cuisine, including poutine, tourtière, and maple syrup. Quebec also has a vibrant arts and music scene, with festivals such as the Montreal Jazz Festival and the Quebec Winter Carnival. Living in Quebec, Quebec offers a high standard of living, with a strong healthcare system, high-quality education, and affordable cost of living. The province has a diverse economy, with industries including aerospace, pharmaceuticals, and technology. The government of Quebec is a parliamentary democracy with a constitutional monarchy, led by the Premier of Quebec. Climate Quebec has a humid continental climate with warm summers and cold winters. The best time to visit Quebec depends on the activities you plan to do. Summer is a popular time for outdoor activities and festivals, while winter offers opportunities for skiing and snowboarding. Old Quebec City The historic heart of Quebec City is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and is known for its charming cobblestone streets, 17th-century architecture, and impressive fortifications. Visitors can stroll through the narrow streets of the lower town, visit the Chateau Frontenac, and take in the views of the St. Lawrence River from the Dufferin Terrace. 1. Montremblant this ski resort town in the Laurentian Mountains is a popular destination for winter sports enthusiasts. In the summer, visitors can enjoy hiking, mountain biking, and water sports on the nearby lakes. 2. Montreal, Quebec's largest city is a vibrant cultural hub, known for its lively nightlife, world-class museums, and excellent dining scene. Highlights include the Old Montreal neighborhood, the Montreal Botanical Garden, and the Mount Royal Park. 3. Quebec Winter Carnival this annual festival takes place in Quebec City every February and features ice sculptures, snow slides, and traditional French-Canadian music and food. 4. Gaspé Peninsula Located on the eastern tip of Quebec, the Gaspé Peninsula is known for its stunning coastal landscapes, including the Forillon National Park and the Purse Rock, a natural arch in the Gulf of St. Lawrence. 5. Charlevoix This region along the St. Lawrence River is known for its picturesque villages, rolling hills, and stunning coastline. Visitors can explore the scenic route to Savas, which features local food and drink producers. 6. Saguenay Fjord This narrow inlet along the St. Lawrence River is a popular destination for whale watching, kayaking, and hiking. Visitors can also explore the nearby Saguenay St. Lawrence Marine Park. 7. Aldi Orleans This island in the St. Lawrence River is known for its charming villages, local produce, and historic sites, such as the Saint Anne de Beaupre Shrine and the Maison de Nos Ix Genealogy Center. 8. Tadoussac. This small town on the north shore of the Saint Lawrence River is known for its picturesque setting, historic buildings, and proximity to whale watching tours. 9. La Morrissey National Park. This park in the Laurentian Mountains offers hiking trails, lakes, and waterfalls, as well as opportunities for canoeing and camping. 10. Quebec City Summer Festival. This annual music festival takes place in July and features a diverse lineup of international and local musicians, as well as street performances and cultural events. 11. Laurentian Mountains This mountain range north of Montreal is known for its stunning scenery and outdoor recreational activities, including skiing, hiking, and mountain biking. 12. Musée National de Beaux-Arts du Québec This museum in Quebec City features a collection of more than 38,000 works of art, including paintings, sculptures, and decorative arts. 13. Parc de la Chute Montmorency 
This park near Quebec City features a waterfall that is taller than Niagara Falls, as well as hiking trails, suspension bridges, and a cable car. 14. St. Jean Baptiste Day This Quebec national holiday is celebrated on June 24 and features parades, fireworks, and cultural events throughout the province. 15. Basilique Notre Dame de Montreal This iconic church in Montreal is known for its Gothic revival architecture and colorful stained glass windows. Saskatchewan Saskatchewan is a province in western Canada known for its vast prairies, lakes, and forests. It is the sixth largest province in Canada with a population of around 1.2 million people, with the majority living in urban centers such as Regina and Saskatoon. The province has a rich history and culture, with a strong indigenous presence and a mix of European influences. Saskatchewan is known for its agricultural industry, with wheat, canola, and pulses being some of the major crops grown in the region. The mining industry also plays a significant role in the province's economy, with potash, uranium, and gold being some of the resources extracted from the earth. The government of Saskatchewan is headed by a premier and a legislative assembly, with a focus on providing services and resources to the people of the province. Saskatchewan experiences a continental climate with cold winters and warm summers. The best time to visit the province is during the summer months from June to August when the weather is mild and outdoor activities are plentiful. Some popular places to visit in Saskatchewan include, 1. Regina, the capital city of Saskatchewan known for its historic architecture, museums, and parks. 2. Saskatoon, the largest city in the province known for its vibrant arts and culture scene, outdoor festivals, and local cuisine. 3. Prince Albert National Park, a protected area with lakes, forests, and wildlife such as bison, moose, and black bears. 4. Grasslands National Park, a unique landscape of rolling grasslands and badlands, with hiking trails and opportunities for wildlife viewing. 5. Waskizia Lake, a popular summer destination for swimming, boating, and camping. 6. Wanasquin Heritage Park, a cultural and historical center that showcases the indigenous history and heritage of the region. 7. Cypress Hills Interprovincial Park, a unique natural area that straddles the border between Saskatchewan and Alberta, with hiking trails, camping sites, and winter sports activities. 8. Moose Jaw, a city known for its hot springs, historic tunnels, and murals depicting the city's history. 9. Batoche National Historic Site, a former Métis settlement that played a significant role in Canadian history, with a visitor center and guided tours. 10. Lake Diefenbaker, a reservoir created by the Gardiner Dam, offering opportunities for fishing, boating, and water sports. 11. The Tunnels of Moose Jaw, a unique attraction that takes visitors on a tour of underground tunnels used during Prohibition and other historical events. 12. Western Development Museum, a museum showcasing the history of transportation and agriculture in Saskatchewan. 13. Saskatchewan Science Centre, a museum with interactive exhibits and educational programs focused on science and technology. 14. Northern Saskatchewan, a region of the province known for its rugged wilderness, fishing, and opportunities to experience indigenous culture and traditions. 15. Canadian Light Source, a national research facility that uses synchrotron technology to study a range of scientific questions. 16. The Great Sandhills, a unique natural area with shifting sand dunes and a diverse array of plant and animal life. 17. Mosaic Stadium, a modern sports stadium located in Regina, home to the Saskatchewan Roughriders CFL team. 18. Castle Butte, a striking rock formation in southern Saskatchewan with a unique geological history. 19. St. John's Cathedral, a historic Anglican church in the heart of Regina known for its impressive stained glass windows. 20. Fort Battleford National Historic Site, a former Northwest Mounted Police fort that played a key role in Canadian history, with guided tours and exhibits. Yukon Yukon is one of the three territories of Canada, located in the northwest corner of the country. It has a population of approximately 42,000 people, with most of the population living in the capital city of Whitehorse. Yukon is known for its rugged natural beauty, pristine wilderness, and unique cultural heritage. Yukon is home to several popular places, including Kluane National Park and Reserve, which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and boasts the highest mountain in Canada, Mount Logan. Other notable destinations include the Yukon Wildlife Preserve, the Northern Light Center, and the Yukon Beringia Interpretive Center, which showcases the Ice Age history of the region. Yukon's culture is heavily influenced by the indigenous peoples of the region, including the Inuit, Dean, and Tlingit. 
The territory also has a vibrant arts and music scene, with many local festivals and events throughout the year. Traditional crafts such as beading, carving, and sewing are still practiced by many indigenous artists. Living in Yukon can be challenging due to its remote location and harsh climate, but the territory offers many benefits for those who enjoy outdoor activities and a slower pace of life. Housing costs are relatively affordable compared to other parts of Canada, and the tight-knit community makes for a friendly and welcoming atmosphere. Yukon's history is rich in the Gold Rush era, when thousands of people flocked to the region in search of fortune. The legacy of this era can still be seen in many of the towns and cities throughout the territory. The government of Yukon is a legislative assembly with a premier and a cabinet, and is responsible for the administration of the territory. The best time to visit Yukon depends on what you want to do. Summer months offer endless daylight and mild temperatures, making it perfect for hiking, camping, and fishing. Winter months bring heavy snowfall and frigid temperatures, but also offer unique experiences such as dog sledding, snowmobiling, and viewing the northern lights. In summary, Yukon is a remote and rugged territory with a rich cultural heritage and unique natural beauty. It may not be for everyone, but those who appreciate the outdoors and a tight-knit community will find a lot to love about living in Yukon. Yukon, Canada is a destination for adventurers seeking untouched natural beauty and outdoor activities. Known for its rugged landscapes, vast wilderness, and cultural heritage, Yukon offers a unique travel experience. Here are some of the top attractions to explore in Yukon. 1. Kluane National Park and Reserve, located in the southwest corner of the territory, this UNESCO World Heritage Site is home to Canada's highest peak, Mount Logan, as well as glaciers, wildlife, and hiking trails visitors can explore the park by foot, kayak, or flight seeing tour. 2. Dawson City, a historic gold rush town in the Klondike region, Dawson City is known for its colorful architecture, cultural festivals, and unique attractions such as the famous Sordo cocktail at the downtown hotel. 3. Yukon Wildlife Preserve, this conservation center provides visitors with the opportunity to see and learn about Yukon's wildlife, including elk, caribou, bison, and moose, in their natural habitats. 4. Whitehorse, the capital city of Yukon, Whitehorse offers a mix of outdoor adventure, cultural experiences, and modern amenities. Visitors can explore the city's museums, galleries, and restaurants, or venture out to nearby trails and lakes. 5. Northern Lights, Yukon is known for its stunning aurora borealis displays, which can be seen from September to April. Tour operators offer guided tours to view the lights in the wilderness. 6. Dempster Highway, a scenic drive through the northern wilderness, Dempster Highway is the only road in Canada that crosses the Arctic Circle. The route offers views of mountains, tundra, and wildlife, as well as access to hiking trails and camping spots. 7. Tombstone Territorial Park, located in the north-central part of Yukon, this park is known for its jagged peaks, alpine meadows, and unique geology. Visitors can hike, camp, and spot wildlife in the park. 8. Takini Hot Springs, these natural hot springs located outside of Whitehorse offer a relaxing soak in mineral-rich water. Visitors can also enjoy the spa and restaurant on site. 9. Miles Canyon. This narrow canyon on the Yukon River is a popular spot for hiking and sightseeing. The canyon's walls are made of basalt columns, and the river rapids provide a scenic backdrop. 10. Kluane Lake. One of Yukon's largest lakes, Kluane Lake offers opportunities for boating, fishing, and camping. Visitors can also take in the stunning views of the surrounding mountains and glaciers. 11. Carcross Desert. This small desert located near the town of Carcross is a unique geological phenomenon, created by glacial activity and winds. Visitors can explore the desert's trails and learn about the area's history and culture. 12. SS Klondike This historic paddlewheeler located in Whitehorse is a reminder of the Yukon's transportation history during the Gold Rush era. Visitors can tour the boat and learn about its role in Yukon's history. 13. Mount Sima this ski resort outside of Whitehorse offers skiing, snowboarding, and other winter activities. The mountain also provides views of the city and surrounding wilderness. 14. Fishing Yukon's lakes and rivers offer opportunities for fishing, including salmon, trout, and pike. Visitors can take guided tours or rent equipment to fish on their own. 15. Hiking and backpacking Yukon's vast wilderness provides endless opportunities for hiking and backpacking, with trails ranging from easy day hikes to multi day treks. Popular routes include the Chilkoot Trail and the Dempster Highway. Thanks for watching.